we actually have we actually have a microphone or, or you just you can if I may, Mr. Chair, I'd like to ask Andrea, what is the perception of the educational level of the workforce here in Dallas-Fort Adams County in the top of various industries? It's not necessarily the perception of the uh, workforce, okay. it's the makeup of the workforce that we're um, having to present more data on, or backup information, as I would say, in the sense that if a manufacturing company is looking to locate they're looking for the skill set as it relates to Megatronics, which Wiregrass does have. And I would tell you that was very, um, I think that Dr. Anderson and Dr. Utley with the dual enrollment that's taking place in our school system will help us tremendously in helping that. Also, um, associate degrees and certificates. Um, when they look at our workforce, they don't typically look at the number of certificates we issue, they look more at the degrees that they're getting. So they actually go to a website where everybody turns in how many people, how many certificates, how many associates, and how many graduate degrees, bachelor degrees, that were um, graduated within that year from that institution, and then apply that to the matrix. And then if that's our fatal flaw, we get eliminated out of the process. So what we're trying to do is really recognize what our fatal flaws are and why we're getting eliminated so that we can start addressing those issues proactively um, in the future. And um, Dr. Anderson, as well as Dr. McKinney, are very supportive as it relates to the manufacturing side of recruitment. How much is the, is the high school graduation rate a factor? It's a larger factor in that, but the hope is that with the dual enrollment, we'll start to see changes in the education, or I'm sorry, in the graduation of our students. But what they see is, they may not see the education level as high as it should be. So what they see is an they see a workforce that doesn't have the next degree. But what we need to be able to say is, yeah, but they started taking their certificate class at Wiregrass Technical College in welding, and because welders are in demand, they never finished their degree, they went to work. And then that way they're gonna fall off out of the matrix. So that's our responsibility in telling the story accurately. Final question, is the, the high school dropout rate a flaw that's being affected? I mean, Say that again? The high school dropout rate for the city school system and the county school system. I can just recall that being one of the things prospective people used to, prospective companies used to ask about the high school dropout rate was the fact that those kids might be going to VSU or Wiregrass. Uh, if they're not graduating from high school, I would think that would have a it does. Problem. And so it's, um, it leads into the other questions that measure up into where our bachelor degrees are, where's the associate degrees, and where is the, um, the people that have not graduated, where are they going and how are we getting them back into the workforce. So I think, like I said, I think one of the proactive things that we're doing as a community is something that Wiregrass is doing with the dual enrollment. Of high school students. Of high school students as well as what we're doing in conjunction with the Great Promise Partnership to start teaching the students from the low to moderate side of, of the, when we say low to moderate, they're not at the risk of not graduating, okay. trying to get them into the workforce, learning what a job can do for them from the wage standpoint. And then also the other thing is the early college that we also have here in Valdosta with Valdosta mm -hmm. State University. Okay. So, I have to do a lot of focus on those that have graduated from high school or college but not to focus on those that maybe have quit high school that mm -hmm. affects people coming to this area. Thank you. Thank you, Al. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else?